And here we go, lockdown three. As you can see, I've got my lockdown beard going on. What's the point in shaving when you can't leave your house, eh? And I've come out today around the Badlands of Chester. And the big difference from the last lockdown was back then, the weather was actually quite nice and the ground was solid. Whereas now, gloopy chod. Never mind, let's get on with it. So anyone who's been watching for a long time will remember that I started the channel basically by a couple of rides and lockdown came in and I was just potting around Chester for a couple of months coming up with things to talk about such subjects as don't try and talk like a rad sick now dude when you're 48 and working accounts and hardtails yes they're good but come on they're not the best thing ever and I'll be honest I sort of ran out of things to talk about but it didn't matter because we're allowed out again and go decent places but now here we are lockdown three this time it's apparently serious one of the things we'll walk down three is it's winter and it's cold and it's muddy and it's miserable and as such motivation to get out is at an all time low but the last couple of weeks I've not been able to for one reason or another so you think do you actually bother filming stuff going out and doing it and well yes I don't imagine this will get many views but looking back in the future it's a record isn't it of what was going on at a certain time one thing you do notice that's very different is there's a lot more people out and about this time which is a good thing because they keep telling you that being outside is fine came by lockdown one one of the first videos I did there's some woman picking leaves off that very bush there hey, moaning or whining about the virus and I was pondering over whether she thought she was going to make some bloody medicine out of it I've not seen her since yes she did either the medicine or the virus got her bye bye but I do plan to keep on riding obviously keep on pumping out videos even if they're a bit dull probably not on a weekly basis or bi-weekly as it was but every now and again why not so the thing with 2020 is that it should have been a terrible year from a riding perspective but it just wasn't I mean sure the two lockdowns were pretty crap I mean first of all I'm to just ride around here for ages then it's second one Delamere which was actually not as bad as expected but it could have been a lot worse because there was a fair few months where we could get out and we could ride wherever we wanted with six people and I think you know a group of six really is about an ideal number anymore it just becomes a bloody pain in the ass I mean I got to ride a lot of places in 2020 with a lot of people some of them friends I've known for a while others new people that was fantastic I made a lot of good friendships now this isn't going to be a review of 2020 <laughs> Although I am sort of planning a video using bits from 2020, let's put it that way. A number of times I've mentioned that I don't really want to do review videos on the channel or bike walk arounds, things like that, because I just think they get a bit cheesy. But what I do want to do today is not a review per se, but something that I've been thinking about and it pisses me off and that is that the quality of stuff has definitely gone down not like with bikes I think bikes are so much better than they were 15, 20 years ago it's not even comparable we might all look back with nostalgia and think oh yeah, my only 222 was bloody awesome but it was pretty awesome compared to or in relation to the other bikes that are around at that time put it up against something modern it'd just be shite but it's more components and clothing especially clothing 
Now I always think, you can tell how long someone's been riding a bike and it's been riding a long time but whether they can remember when race face made decent strong components I've got race face rims on my orange and they're just crap just soft nasty things but in the early noughties I hate that word but anyway race face stuff was top class it cost a lot but it was built well and it was built to last nowadays it just costs a lot pouring scorn on race face components is hardly groundbreaking news everybody knows that I want to talk about clothing now Troy Lee designs Troy Lee designs kit is damn expensive always has been but back in 2001-2002 I bought some TLD Moto shorts the original ones and they were like I guess motocross trouser materials so you probably where the Moto name came from now those shorts had a ratchet um, attachment on the fly and tough as old boots sure they weren't the most comfortable to ride in but they lasted until 2019 which is pretty good going isn't it 17 18 years so i watched some replacements looked on various websites and there you go tld moto 2 shorts and that's what i'm wearing now now these things the material is a lot thinner they're probably a bit more comfortable but my god are they shit instead of the nice little ratchet thing they've got silly little velcro tabs on the side to adjust the fit now velcro and mud doesn't go together well so they're forever coming undone now here's what they look like look at that one for the ladies and yeah don't they look rad sick now or awesome but they don't look rad sick now or awesome when the velcro comes undone and the bloody things are hanging halfway down your backside unless you're a teenager with big underpants which I'm not and the other thing is the zips I think one of the zips had gone on my old ones after about 15 years of use are these ones the two main pockets the zips lasted for about uh, three weeks and that's maybe we're using them twice a week that's shit now the worst thing about it is comparatively speaking they cost the same as the original ones did now how can that be when the quality has just fallen quite literally out of the arse of them I mean what can you get wrong with zips they used to have zips that worked and now that doesn't seem possible thinking about it the zips on my royal shorts had gone as well why? it's like they found out a method of making zips that worked and as time went on they thought you know what maybe people don't want zips that work let's put cheap nasty ones on instead save a bit of money no one will complain they'll lose all the stuff out of the pockets but you know that's the price to pay isn't it I don't like losing stuff so another very big brand which is very popular and this one's going to be controversial but I think are of dubious quality is SRAM I think most people know that their brakes are utterly shite but got some of them mechs if you ask me I've been through two XO1 mechs in the last year and a half and literally I think one maybe got hit by a stone but the other glanced off a twig and that's it they're bent and they just fall to bloody pieces now on my old orange I had an XT mech on that which lasted for years and years and they just seemed more durable I mean the dropper post on my other bike and yeah this is a rock shocks one as well but a puny circle on the bottom to hold it together that was never gonna last was it and it didn't but again premium price I mean a Stram Mech cost a downside more than the Shimano one and the Shimano one 
better quality, lighter, just better. So another product which gets on my nerves are five tens. Well, out of this now, let's just thank God that they haven't started making them in horrible gaudy colours that teenagers and middle-aged people who pretend to be teenagers like. Now five tens, they work fantastically, let's be honest. They grip like shit to a blanket on your pedals, but they're made in California or somewhere in the States where it's bone dry and they only ride where it's dry. The problem with England is it's not dry and we don't just ride when it's dry. But 510s soak up water like nothing else. They're like a bloody sponge and they stay wet. Here's my trainers this morning before I set off. I hadn't used them in two and a half weeks and yet they're still bloody soaked. In fact, before filming this, I'd had to scrape off some weird fungus off them. It was like white hair growing all over them. That's not great, is it? I mean, yeah, they've been in the shed and the shed's a bit damp, but come on, two and a half weeks, still soaked. It's like you use 510s and all winter you have wet feet from the second you put them on to the second you take them off. Dear US component makers, here is the reality of riding in the UK in winter. Take note. So there we go. Another ride down. And not exactly an action packed super fun one, but glad I got out. And you know, better to be out than in, isn't it? Always. Now, I didn't originally think about going along canals today, canal tow paths, because they're a bit more hard packed now, but got to be busy. And they're just dull. Not writing them off because I'll probably end up doing it. And for those who have watched, thanks for sticking with us. I think over the next couple of months it's going to be quite difficult to get content out, or at least decent content. But I'll try, even if it's not every week. So next week, see what happens. Right, thanks for watching. Bye bye.